With a new expansion right around the corner, there are some meta decks that some people are particularly worried about still dominating into the next rotation. And honestly, I'm just gonna go out and say it. Kael'thas Sunstrider may be particularly format breaking, especially in Wild. Not only because the deck is really good right now, but because Kael'thas Druid in particular is getting a ton of support. And by a ton of support, I mean literally one zero mana card and one high mana card that actually helps you draw a ton of cards. Like literally, I think this deck is pretty much solved if you just take out the queen and put in barns because I had to follow the theorycraft rules and put in one legendary uh, from the new set uh, but this deck just seems a little bit scary to say the least because not only is there a possibility of a theoretical turn one lethal because of the barns with uh, with lightning bloom lightning bloom into barns pull uh, the kale thoughts into like an overgrowth or um, oh, I'm sorry an, an open infestation in this case uh, but the biggest thing to really keep in mind here is that aquatic form is literally kind of fine your next card uh if you have if because uh, you dredge it to the top of your deck you're not going to draw it immediately but the thing you really care about in this situation is the fact that you have another zero mana card in order to give kalthos this insane amount of consistency and then the other part of the coin the other card, Miracle Growth, is actually an insane card because say you don't get the full combo on uh, on the first turn, or say in, this, in these clips coming up ahead, I actually missed the APM a little bit. But the thing about Miracle Growth is the fact that it literally gives you a gigantic body on the board, and that was like the only thing that this deck was missing. Like it had Kael'thas and it had five fives, but now you have the possibility of summoning large minions with taunt. So, uh, to say the least, this deck is not only going to become, like, a, uh, I would say, like, a combo deck, but maybe there's even, like, a way that this deck could be built to where it's all about cheating a gigantic board to where your opponent has no business of getting rid of it. I don't think there's any way of being able to fit, like, a Nerubian Unraveler or something that's gonna be able to deny your opponent's spells, but if you do this early enough, there is no spell that's gonna be able to deal with this outside of, like, Devolve or something like that. So, Kael'thas Druid, in my professional opinion, may need somewhat of a nerf before these uh before these patches go live because the very first day we may see a lot of Kael'thas Druid because again these two cards just complement the deck absolutely perfectly and you really don't feel like you're missing out with uh with including these two cards but that's enough of looking at my face the only reason why you're not seeing some gameplay behind me is because I didn't play this deck that many games I played it literally twice and twice is literally all you need in order to see the uh, the power level that this deck can excrete because again if you sub out the queen for barns the consistency of this deck is going to be absolutely unreal so uh, enjoy the clips coming up ahead there's one clip of me doing the combo pretty much almost as well as you could be and then the second clip is just gonna be something to give uh, People who like Kale Thos, you know, a clip to focus on and be like, see, the deck can fail. And it can fail, but only if you're really, really impatient. Hope you guys enjoy the clips. Thank you again for Play Hearthstone for inviting me to the Theorycraft stream so I can show you guys these clips. And we'll see you for the next video. Fighting the Martian. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, not Martian! Am I really about to do this to Martian? <laughs> oh my god, I'm about, he's, he's about to have all this faith in me. Wait. Okay. Got Innervate. <laughs> Does he know? Don't tell Zeddy Monka W. Ah, uh, Zeddy, Zeddy is, uh... He's gonna have to get over Kael'thas. I think it's actually fine that Kael'thas is coming back. It's like, we can figure out if he's broken in like the first couple of like days. But until then, I like the idea of him, of him being back right now. <laughs> he keeps emoting me. <laughs> is it because he knows? <laughs> he probably just knows. I'm sorry, Martian. <laughs> I'm sorry, Martian. I'm sorry, buddy. But he's gonna get comboed. Solar Eclipse? Not, not enough yet. I guess I should do this to get rid of cards. Wait. Okay, I definitely can't go for it now. I waited too long. Next turn, we go for it.
be at nine cards. I have to play four, so one, two, three. Hopefully I draw like something else that I can play. If I have mana to play the card, draw it. That actually might be the way to do this. Like lightning bloom into... I'm just gonna have to move, dude. I'm not gonna have time to think. Okay, that's perfect. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Time, 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 time! Animations! Animations! <laughs> I had to wait for the moonlit. I had to wait for the resizing pouch. I should have. Oh man. I mean. I could still, like, bio into solar swipe. Oh my god, no. He has to kill the, the Kael'thas, though. But I also have 7-7s. Seven That's the other thing about this deck. This deck got infinitely better because we have 7-7s seven now. Oh, is that Ice Block? Oh, that's probably Ice Block, dude. That's probably Ice Block. Wait, I could put Colossals at the, at the bottom of my deck, though. That could actually be nuts. Yeah, dude, I could just put Colossal Minions in the bottom of my deck. Either that or I could put in random spells. Honestly, Queen might be pretty good in here, but at the same time, if you're just trying to play Kael'thas, wouldn't Barnes just be better? <laughs> Ramping my opponent? Nah, I'm fine. I, I, I had to do it. I had to do it in order to... I, I guess I didn't have to do it. But it's still, it's still good manners, right? <laughs> What's the current theory? Uh, Kael'thas is still broken. Kael'thas actually got significantly better with this new card. Number one, it draws cards. Number two, it gives you taunts, so it gives you a board, so you're not just going all in on Kael'thas. So if you happen to miss lethal like I did, you could still win the game. Yeah! New card! <laughs> Just so he knows that I'm not also playing Bran. I'm not playing Bran, I'm actually doing something cool, I promise. I understand why the voiceover changed, but the replacement for- Yeah, I also agree, dude. It, it's not as- it doesn't have the same bite. Yeah, so Kael'thas is better. Kael'thas is just better. I'm just gonna full mulligan for Kael'thas, to be honest. It's probably just the way to play this deck. But that's the third game against Martian now. Maybe I should have switched to the Warrior. Maybe that would have counted him too hard though. <laughs> if only there was a way to make Capture Cold Tooth Mine work with like Kael'thas or something. I guess hitting ultimate infestation is more important. I might be able to just like rely on a Shara though. Just draw the highest card. 
Something else that people might start doing now is like lightning bloom coin into like nourish. <laughs> Feels bad to live in Russia at the moment, but I hope this nightmare will be finished soon. I hope so too, Beard. I really hope so too, man. I hope you're staying safe, man. I followed for so long, I can literally be charged as a stalker. Wait, how long is that? I don't know those numbers. Wait a minute. Well, I, I guess we're doing it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I've been caught with my pants down. Uh oh. I didn't hit any zeros. I didn't hit any of the zeros in my in my deck except for one moonfire. Oh god. Okay, 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 this is fine. If this literally is about to live, holy crap. Oh my god, it survives. <laughs> it actually lived. Is there a way to give this poisonous? Wait, what? Why didn't he? Oh, he can still kill. Oh, he can still kill. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Shit. Dude, I'm screwed now. I'm like actually screwed. Okay, hold on a minute. I see a way. It's very unlikely, but it's still a way. I have resizing pouch for a reason. And here's one of the reasons. I'm only gonna get one shot at it, so I'm gonna try and go for armor. Your hero power your hero can't be attacked by targeted by spells and hero powers. I guess it's just a 3-4. This does have value, but it goes away as soon as he plays a card, so I'm just gonna do this. Wait, does this stay? Oh, it's until the next turn. I'm so screwed. Nah, man, watch this. We're gonna get Kael'thas back like it's nothing, and then we can we can start the combo again. It's still possible. There's still a chance for sure. There is definitely still a chance. <laughs> There is definitely still a chance. Don't you doubt that. Alright, guys. Giveaway happening in two minutes. Giveaway happening in two minutes. You have to be following. Because you have to be able to chat in chat. Trust in... Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to hit it, bro. Don't worry. We're going to hit it. We're going to hit it every single time. Remember, Chalky is watching. Chalky is watching all of us, and he's determining every single one of these results. Because remember, Hearthstone is a fixed game. Wait, does that just kill me? Oh shit. <laughs> uh, don't pull my name, redraw if you do. Uh, two red, um, if you win the, uh, the race, then I'll just give it to second place. So thank you for letting me know.